Hey, what's going on everybody? Vic here, aka Marvel Ranger. Today I am going on the hunt. Um, I'm really looking for the NECA Hudson figure and the armored Last Ronin figure. So hopefully we spot one of those at least. Uh, if not, that's okay. I uh, just want to see what's out there. Haven't toy hunted maybe like in a couple weeks. So we shall see what they have. Um, other than that, yeah, I hope you all are having a great year so far. All right, let's go see what they have. All right, so this Walmart has a, a good amount of legends from the Black Panther wave. Or the, what's his name, Atuma wave. Plenty of these. They might be on, on clearance. These are going on clearance, but I already scanned it, and these are going for about like $16.97 which I'd rather pay less than $10. I got three of these characters, which I bought for like less than 10 bucks at Target. I just need Vulcan, Havoc, Maggot. Yeah, that's it. To finally build Bone Breaker. So hopefully I can catch those when they're under 10 bucks. Any new carded figures? Nope. Got all these. Oh, these are all from pretty older wave. I got Destro. Kind of a goofy pick of him right here. Cause it looks like he has no neck. <laughs> that was a different variant. Star Trek. Oh, these are new, I believe. It was my first time seeing it in the wild. It's Frankenstein. These are from the McFarlane line. These are the, what do they call it? Mega figs? It's Mongol. That's a excellent looking face school. I love this area to shop. I think these are what, like 40 bucks, just like um, Bane and all the other mega figs, like Swamp Thing. Mm, Mongo does look really nice. Frankenstein, yeah, I'm gonna pass on him. May grab Mongo later down the road. Oh yeah, like that expression too. That clay face back here. I may scan. Eh, actually, I may scan. Up. We'll see. You've seen all these. Yeah, these all been here for quite a while. Duke Thomas and Blight. All right. Okay, let's get out of here. All right, it's been over two weeks since I visited a Target, so let's see if there's anything new. Ooh, this is definitely new for me, at least. Gold label Aquaman. It's for the cyborg. A cyborg build a figure? Whoa. Wonder how big is he? Man, Cyborg is gonna be huge. Look at his torso compared to his. Yeah, I mean, I guess Cyborg is supposed to be a pretty big fellow because all the his armor. But that big? Yeah, I guess it will scale well together. I don't ever know. I rarely know when there's new Transformer figures because there's they're always coming out with so many. Finally seen. I think this is my second time seeing out back in the wild. Shazam. And we do have the Dungeons and Dragons figures. Ooh. Where's the Ranger? There's Bobby and Uni. Diana. Is the Ranger here? Where you at, Ranger? Oh, no ranger. Is he like the most popular one? Yeah, Hank. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna collect this line. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen these. Well, these are like Golden Archive. Both from Hasbro. I wonder if the figures are. So 
Simon. Why are the packaging different? I don't know too much about Dungeons and Dungeons and Dragons. The only thing I really know is about Driss. The Drow Elf. Holga. I thought it was Caterbury for a second. Yeah, it's pretty cool that they came out with these. Alright. See how I think. Oh, this is new. <laughs> oh gosh, it's a swap. Oh, they got Howard the Duck. That's new. Oh, they got a whole bunch of new Marvel Legends. Jeez. Red Skull. Based off the what if. Very cool. Zombie Iron Man. Definitely gonna cop that later on. Same with Scarlet Witch. He who remains. Same old. Alright, some customers. Let's, let's check it out here in a little bit. This is new, I believe. Raise Ramon with Undertaker and 123 Kid. All this cash here. It's pretty cool accessories. $64.99. I think these all, yeah, these all have been here for quite a while. Same with these wrestling figures, I think. <laughs> I have no idea. They always come out with so many new wrestlers. How do y'all wrestling fans keep up? <laughs> So many freaking Rey Mysterio variants. I mean, he does wear a lot of costumes. See, I liked them back in the day. I like. I stopped watching wrestling a long time ago. Really, after I found out that was fake, <laughs> it was really disappointing. Stegosaurus. Any dinos on sale? Nope. A pat or Dreadnoughtus. Still waiting for that to go on sale. All right. Let's go check a different section out. Oh, baby. They have Hudson. Heck yes. And they have the new Predator. The Lux Stone Heart Predator. That's a huge fella. I thought he was a regular size Predator, but no. This is the, the giant size. It's probably the same body mold as the, uh, what, is, what is it? The unarmored. Assassin, I forget the name. You know the other giant predator fig. I do have it at home. Here's the damaged Robocop as well. First time seeing this, I believe, in the wild. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's more than 40 bucks. Comes with all these accessories. It's pretty hefty, too. Got a dragon here. I finally caved in and grabbed a dragon. Not this one, though. Oh, they have. Splinter as Van, Van Helsing as well. It's nice to see. I love the packaging on these. The art looks awesome. Still on the fence with all the other turtles. Like I, I grabbed Mummy Mike a while back, but... Oh, they have armored Last Ronin as well. <laughs> Heck yeah. All right, well, I'm gonna grab a couple things here today, which is pretty rare nowadays. I usually pick up nothing or it's like one figure. Ultimate Battle Damage City Hunter. I think this is my first time seeing him. Yeah, guy's arm chopped off there. Ultimate Warrior Predator. First time seeing this, maybe? Oh, might be my second time. Oh man, they are stacked. Oh, I got Bride of Frankenstein as well. Yeah, 
I almost feel obligated because I got Mommy Mike, and y'all know I love. If you've been watching this channel for quite a while, y'all know I love turtles. But God, I think I'm just gonna go with Mikey from this time. I don't know, because I do all look good, good together. But mm, I don't think about it. They have Slash. Man, they are stacked. Yeah, anything else new? Shoot. $34.99 or $32.99. Oh, no way. They actually had the Last of Us figure. Two pack set. Oh, gosh. The first episode of this show on HBO just came out last night. Really enjoyed it. This is based off the. Uh, this, the part two, the sequel from the first game. It's Joel, Ellie. It's very nice packaging. So I definitely want to get this Armored Last Ronin. And uh, uh, who else? I'm just kind of overwhelmed right now. So much figures that I want. Oh yeah, Hudson. This is what I'm mainly looking for. Oh baby, look at the details. Man, dude, they got so many freaking goodies. New legends. Freaking swap figure. God. And look, they did a really good job too. How the hell? They must have cut the bottom. Yeah, it looks like they cut the bottom. You know, I can't really tell still. God, I did a <laughs> superb job at. Okay, you see the rip marks back there, yeah? Okay. Other than that, man, he did a good job putting this back without making it look like it's, it was tampered with. But still, that's not what you should do. Alright, let's pick some of these figures up and get out of here. What? I totally missed the Duke and Ram set very attractive packaging love the art as always with these gi joe figures man look at that bike i love it not paying no 45 or 50 though I'm gonna wait all right all right let's get out of here all right we are at the Target off of Albemarle Road. Still got this two pack here. Hopefully, I can catch it on clearance. I wonder if he's going on clearance. I may give him a scan. Got some spawn. Oh man, it's a mess over here. Figure arts. King Kong. I heard this is a pretty good figure. It's definitely a lot smaller than like the NECA version, which is expected. She Hulk Abomination. Some Gundam figures. Man, that looks pretty cool. <laughs> I actually like the packaging more. <laughs> the art of the packaging than the figure. Eternal Cloud and Dragon. I think on one of the previous clips, I did mention that I did pick up a dragon. I caved in. I was going to pass on the line. But something came up. Mando. Just happened. Oh, you know what? People are finding this on clearance. And this is in the wrong section. Possibly because someone wanted it on clearance. I definitely, you no, know, I do have a Triceratops, but I like the color of this one. Basic Michelangelo and Chun-Li figure. 
I do like how that Michelangelo came out. Smash, which is kind of surprising. Slash is in the house. Who's that back there? Lothor? Lothar? Man, that's a pretty, that's a really nice face goal of this character. Defenders of the Earth. Man, that's a, that's a nice looking action figure. Let's see. Nine ninety nine. It was originally twenty bucks. Uh, I really want this, but I think I could wait a little bit longer. Cause I think I saw someone find it for five bucks, and I'm not like not so like desperately. In need for it. Alright, Adam Smasher, Ocean Master. It's weird seeing this set here at a target. Flash comes with the comic book, which is nice. Viper. Should I be surprised that this is here? Man, I love, I love the packaging of these GI Joe classified figures. Python Patrol. Who's that? The Atom. You got a couple outbacks and check it out. They got bazooka. Ooh, man. Might be a cop. So we got this wave here as well. Look at the it seems like the Iron Man's are selling out pretty quickly. I only saw one of the zombie um, Iron Man's yesterday at that target. To all the new viewers, I do collect the G.I. Joe line, purely for aesthetic reasons. So I'm very selective. There's Mr. Knight. U.S. Agent. Might be on clearance. Same with Black Panther. Loki. He who remains. Bill figure. Conch. He's a pretty tall fella. I do want to build a figure eventually, but and this figure for sure. Whoa! Oh my gosh! Look at all these short troopers. <laughs> Boba Fett. Damaged Boba Fett. Is this? Every time I see a Boba Fett figure, I can't ever tell if it's new or not because they're always coming out with so many reissues. The helmet does look slightly different. So, yeah, it's battle damage. It almost seems a little smaller than like the regular 6 inch figure. Maybe the packaging is kind of throwing me off. But yeah, very nice packaging, of course. Duke and Ram here. I may pick them up later down the road. Mainly just want the bike because I already have a Duke. Ben Kenobi. More Ben Kenobis. Ahsoka. Oh, have y'all seen the Hot Toys version of Jake Sully? That just came out. It's going for pre-order now. 
looks really nice. I've yet to see this movie. I eventually will. Oh, we actually get... It's <laughs> actually a turtle. I totally forgot that these just came out. These are hot right now. The Shredder figure is not, though. Man, it's an ugly... It's not... Yeah, okay, it's actually pretty bad. Hell, his head looks so small compared to his body. Just not proportioned correctly. Such a basic figure. It's probably, what, 20-something? Okay, it's nice to see uh, one of these new turtle figures. Turtle-related figures from the Ninja Elite series. Let's see. Let's see if the other figures show up on the packaging. Nope. Okay. Alright. All the usual dinosaurs. Okay, let's get out of here. Alright, check it out. They actually have a clearance section at this particular Target. Maybe I just missed it all from all the previous times I've been here. Anyways, so Mando, the Mando and Gar Grogu set is going for $19.49. It was originally $38.99. That's, that's nuts. Ridiculous. But yeah, $19.49, not too bad for the set. Jawas here are going for $13.99 now. Which should have been the rate. Honestly, like, I feel like it should have been the retail price. Fifth Brother is going for $5.99. Okay, not too shabby. Same with Obi-Wan. Let's see. This Mantis set is going for $21.49. was originally $42.99. with just the, the warthog which is the other vehicle another vehicle from that line if you're not aware there's marvel's quake i wonder how much she's going for no clearance tag on her maybe 10 bucks somewhere around a little less than 10 bucks got three of her Pretty good face combs. Is this some clearance as well? Must be, right? she -Ra is going for $16.49. She was originally $32.99. Harry Potter said. This was $60. Bucks. Now we're going for $30. Bucks. Everett Ross, no clearance tag, but I do some Rangers. I wonder how much these are going for. Well, I'm guessing probably like a little less than 10 bucks. Funko Pop, Nightwing. Anything else? Oh, that was RC. $17.49 was originally $34.99. Is that armadillo? <laughs> yeah, right. We got a wrestling figure. No clearance tag. Red velvet. Alright, I think that is it. Alright, uh, yeah, let's get out of here. Hey, what's going on, fellow collectors? Welcome back to my humble abode. Hope y'all enjoyed the hunt. Hope y'all are hope y'all are having a great week of some good hunting sessions. Um, there's just been so many great products that's been coming out in the past week or two. Um, I would love to see the other uh, Ninja Turtle figures, like the more giant figures, and the carded ones. I'm still on the fence. I don't know if I want to, you know, I got to see those in person first, you know. I don't want to just get it just because it's Ninja Turtles related. Um, you know, it's funny because at one point, maybe about a year ago, 
I almost built to this mentality that I want or this goal that I want to just buy everything Ninja Turtles related and just have like a Ninja Turtles room, which would be awesome, you know, and I may still do one day, but I'm just not, you know, I realize getting everything of one line is just going to be too much, especially for someone like me uh, who collects a lot of different other lines. And I'm sure a lot of you other collectors out there who collect a lot of different lines totally understand what I'm saying. And even other collectors who don't. But um, anyways, uh, yeah, um, enough of my rant here. Let's go and get to this haul. Uh, found a lot of amazing stuff. And I ordered a couple of things online as well. So let's go and get to this stuff online first. And then I'll show you all everything that I picked up on the hunt. All right, so first we have a product from NECA. And this is this was ordered from Target.com. And it is of the Elvira figure. Oh, baby. There's the side. There's the back. Uh, let's go and take a closer look at this. All right. So as you can see, it comes with two face sculpts. Really like those expressions. These look really, really good for NECA figures. I mean, most of the time, like, the NECA face sculpts are not, a little bit off, you know what I'm saying? I mean, this is kind of off. It's not, like, perfect, but it's pretty dang good. Do you all agree? Comes with that head right there. Some other accessories. Next up, we got this figure from Amazon.com. Um, it is of the Figure Arts Buzz Lightyear figure. And, man, I got to say, this is an excellent looking action figure. I mean, face scope is on point. I guess it would be hard to mess up, especially from a company like Figure Arts. Of course, I, I don't have to even show you all the articulation. Um, Figure Arts' is, articulation is always on point. Comes with a jetpack. And, let's see comes with some accessories that sword right there which I think is based off the newest movie I could be wrong uh, I haven't seen Toy Story 3 so maybe it's off that I'm not 100% sure um, and it comes with the this face scope here as well all right let's get to the next figure all right so up next we have the last Ronin which y'all have probably seen this many times on other channels very popular fig. Uh, the size, the back. So I got the unarmored version already. So I'm complete with the, the last run in line so far from NECA. But yeah, comes with an, a plethora of accessories. So very nice. All right. And then we have Hudson from the NECA line. Oh, so glad they came out with these. Like, man, when this show used to come on in the 90s, like, it was just so satisfying. That was just a different vibe that this show gave off than any other cartoons or just show in general. Like, it had kind of a gloomy vibe to the show. You know, because of mostly because of Goliath and just the way they talked, you know what I'm saying? But they also had humor in it, of course. But um, yeah, just such a speci special show, you know? One of my favorites from the 90s, no doubt. All right, also from that particular target, we found The Last of Us Part 2 Joel and Ellie 2 pack from NECA. Joel and Ellie, There's some of the artwork, a photo of the figure, very nice background, wow, did a really good job with that, Ellie, yeah, they look great, love it, I actually just finished this game about a week and a half ago, so it's still very fresh in my mind, like the whole story and everything, I definitely, I just wanted to finish the game before the show came out which came out the other day, and uh, the first episode was amazing. Um, yeah, let me know what y'all think about the show so far. 
All right, so this last pickup is from McFarland Toys. And, yeah, out of nowhere, he just advertised that, you know, he's going to start selling these on that same day that he advertised it. And it's from the gold label line. And it is of the Eternal Clan Dragon. The gold label version. As you can see, it's green. You know, let me go get something real quick. All right, so I brought this turntable here. And, yeah, let's take a look at the details. Love the paint app on this. I mean, so many details on this. It almost looks like it has more details than the, the red version, but I'm not 100% sure. Probably it just looks like it to me because of, because the colors are brighter. Could be. Could be a reason why. But yeah, right when McFarlane advertised this, I jumped in, jumped on it with the quickness. It just looks so attractive to me. And in, in person, it just looks much better. Take a closer look at the face. Man, such a good job for a $40 statue of this size. Man, McFarlane is killing it. My only gripe is that you can see where the wings attach to his body. As you can see, they didn't make it seamless. Which is reasonable because, you know, putting these wings on in the packaging, it could probably get messed up. Well, they'd have to have a huge box, a much bigger box than it originally comes with. Because the wings. But yeah, definitely pleased with this pickup. What do y'all think? You like this better than the red one? I mean, the red one looks good too. Don't get me wrong, but this one just really pops to me. Um, so the there's the Berserker Clan version that's gonna be coming out soon, or it maybe already came out. I'm probably not gonna pick that one up. You know, I'm gonna have to see it in person first and look at the details. But I'm I'm guessing you know if McFarland you know came out with you know a different color a variant of this version, they're probably gonna do the same thing with the other one possibly. So I'll just wait and see what how the how the next version looks like. But yeah, there it is. The McFarlane Eternal Clan Gold Label Dragon. Anyways, if you made it this far to the video, I really appreciate you for watching. Thanks a whole heap. Hope you all are doing well, staying healthy physically and mentally. Hope you all are having some good hunts. Uh, let me know what y'all picked up lately. There's been, there's been so many good stuff coming out. So I'm sure a lot of y'all have been picking up a, a little bit of something at least. Um, but yeah, um, I'll catch you. Uh, of course, like, comment, and subscribe. Gosh, I'm such a noob at this YouTube thing. Even though I've done it for quite a while, of course, you know, I took a long hiatus. But even looking at the last several videos, I've been a bit rusty. <laughs> I can tell. But hopefully I keep improving. But yeah, uh, thanks again, guys. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. And I'll catch you all next time. All right? Range out. Peace.